<laughs> Father's asked me to say a few words, so trust me, they will be a few words. I was expecting Father to run over by about ten minutes anyway. <laughs> You've done very well. Thank you very much. So, uh, our visit to Barnsley Hall. How many years ago was it now? Uh, 1999. Okay, 1999. So, Barnsley Hall has... Since we went there. <laughs> I so knew this was going to happen. <laughs> this is why I haven't bothered to script anything. I don't have my diary. Uh, yes, okay. Do you want to come? <laughs> Do you want to come? <laughs> sure. Okay, so, obviously, Barnsley Hall's been a topic of conversation around the kitchen table for years and years and years. Um, uh, yes. So, how we got to go on this trip to Barnsley, I'm not quite sure. I think Mother being um, a collector of all sorts had probably something to do with it, and something to do with bribing the security guard who was looking after the place. It's obviously been closed for a number of years and it was about to be redeveloped. So the opportunity was, you know, short. So we arrived there as a family. Um, I don't know if we went in one or two cars, but anyway, we arrived and it was a bit touch and go as to whether we're going to be able to pull this off. And growing up, we'd heard, or I remembered all sorts of stories about <coughs> what grandfather did and how this lunatic asylum was a great place and a brilliant place to be brought up, which I couldn't really understand. <clears throat> but father had a very fond time there and told stories largely of the ballroom and how much effort went into entertaining the I was going to say inmates. Patience. Patience, thank you. Um, uh, which I found fascinating. And Father told one particular story about how his father and team, they'd built a railway track around the outside of the theatre stage, or ballroom stage, to enable uh, the reenactment of Swan Lake have some real swans which moved across the front of the stage and this was when was it staged I, I, I should have read your book really shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> anyway I will I promise, I promise. When, I'm, when I go on holiday I'll read it um, <laughs> next holiday yeah. um, so I guess it was sometime just after the war so we this is where I incriminate myself. We, we bribed the guard, and then we broken in through some doors to get into the war room. And remarkably, it was very much like some of the photographs I'd, I'd seen. Um, and we wandered down to the, to the stage, and out of curiosity, I thought, I wonder what's under this stage, because there's always lots of stuff left behind, scenes and what have you. Um, and remarkably, I found a number of swans, paper mache swans that were built just after the war. So you, the photograph you'll see in the book are these swans that we dragged out and placed on the front of the stage to try and mimic a photograph I'd seen as a boy growing up. Um, and it was, it was quite remarkable, really. Fortunately, we, yeah, we took some photographs. Um, and I don't know if you saw in the cabinet, there was also some of the um, lighting and decorations from the side of the walls kept in boxes as well. This is where I incriminate myself because we, we obviously liberated them, <laughs> borrowed them, yes. Um, and in fact, we were going to borrow the swans as well and go back at a later date, but uh, as is inevitable, we never did get round to going back and shortly afterwards the place was flattened. Um, so, yeah, that's the story of my and my parents' trip and brother sister. Did you come after? I wasn't invited. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He went around. You didn't mention the devastation caused by the vandals in the place. 
Oh, I tried to blank with those. The drips coming down the wall, the fungus growing out, mm. and the crap on the floor, you could hardly move. We absolutely we just crunched over the glass as we were walking the, on the original the floors. Um, cut glass windows, bashed out, uh, water dripping down the walls. It was a dreadful state. And the proscenium curtain was ripped to hell. And you took the photograph through the proscenium curtain. See, that's what you ought to have told the audience. <laughs> <laughs> what we haven't mentioned was that Father's office was in an outbuilding adjacent to the, that magnificent chimney. Uh, and we let ourselves into this office. And there was a filing cabinet. And in the corner of the office, this filing cabinet um, still had some paperwork in there. So we went through the paperwork, and lo and behold, found some of grandfather's drawings in there from, I don't know, the 40s, I don't quite remember. But that was, it did make the sort of hairs on the back of your neck stand up. It was quite, quite spooky, really. And I pinched the toilet roll holder off his t- private toilet as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I stopped there. <laughs> well, we can, we can answer some other things maybe in the questions. Okay. Are you all right I'll to stop there? I'm very, I'm very all right. Well, <laughs> thank you, Jane. <laughs>